Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome cross watchers. And for those of you who are brand new to the channel, happy to have you land here. I'm going to pull from Gateway of Light Activation Oracle just to kick the reading off. Let's see what your message is today. Star being healing codes, important information, wounds are healing, recharging. Someone else got this, cannot remember who. So first I'm going to pull it back, put it, it looks like the great and powerful Oz, if you see it a certain way. Star being healing codes, important information, wounds are healing and recharging. Why do I feel like maybe Libra got that one? Somebody got it. I love the wounds are healed message for you, Pisces. What I'm going to do is pull the spread, give you my general impressions. Um, then I'll go back through with clarifiers. Do keep in mind it's a general reading, not a private reading. So it may not resonate for everyone. Just best to take what speaks to you, leave the rest. Um, I do offer private readings. There's always a link below every video. You've got to scroll just a little bit and it will take you to the booking page. And uh, but as always, the energies can come through reversed, meaning I can be speaking directly to a cross watcher. This whole reading can be for you. Opening up with King of Pentacles, so we're talking about a masculine archetype of a life partner, someone showing up for you in 3D. Here, what is crossing this hmm, past life soulmate energy? Maybe a challenge around this person being available for you. Um, you may be at some distance from, from this person. Yeah, there may be a challenge at the root of the problem, some communication. In the past, Nine of Cups keeps coming up in, um, you're the last in, the ser in this series of readings, and there's been a lot of energy around some complacency, meaning one, one uh, person in the pairing wants to move things forward, or at least wants to know, like, what's the plan, Stan? And the other kind of is like, well, things are good, right? Like, hmm. So there's a lack of wish fulfillment for one, um, uh, in the, in the divine partnership and for the other, uh, things feel like I'm good. So that may be what we're talking about. Yeah. And in your conscious awareness, Knight of swords, there is this sense of urgency to make sure we understand each other, maybe clear, clearing up some miscommunication, some lack of communication, some misunderstanding, whatever it is. And in the near future, Four of Swords, there we go, some healing, wounds are healed, important information, maybe some downloads coming through for you. And I'm going to say to you the same thing I've been saying. If you've been watching me, it's happened in almost every reading. I'm not going to say every because it's like this is reading 12. Um, that by the time we get to the near future, things sort of smooth out. And if you missed it, please go watch the October 2024 Love Tarot Monthly Energy Update. I take the month week by week in the tarot spread as well as, and it's time stamped as well as I do an astrology rundown for the month. And so in the astrology rundown, you can see that the month is kind of up, down, up, down, up, down, but by the end of the month, it sort of smooths out and the tarot spread followed suit. So you may want to check that out <clears throat> because this is everything kind of ooh, coming into for a smooth landing, um, <clears throat> as was the case in almost every other reading. So let's see what we get here. <clears throat> and this page of swords, seven of swords. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. A little bit of gravelly here. <clears throat> Ten of Swords. Um, maybe this King of Pentacles, you're, you're curious or you need some information, clarity to clear up something that may feel like some avoidance. Um, could even be, you could be picking it up as some kind of um, 
something that was not just avoidant, but maybe deceptive and receiving it and perceiving it and experiencing it as more of a betrayal. Um, and it, it was communicated. It was something that was communicated. That's at the root of the problem here. And it may have come through um, in a very painful way. Now, for those who are new, when I pull from the bottom of the deck, it's something you can't see. It's either within your unconscious awareness or playing out behind the scenes. So in unconscious awareness here, it's like, well, was that it? Was that the final word? Because that left a mark. Um, and, and, but from the top of the deck, you're not really sure. Um, and so hence the Knight of Swords, a need to clear the air. You're really not sure. Maybe communication wasn't clear or was absent. So let's see that Eight of Wands. Something very heavy here, some uncertainty, apprehension about it in that communication left you with a lot of um, uncertainty. The communication, like I'm saying here, you're not sure. Did I just get played? Uh, is there something they're not telling me? And I think it's left you sat with a very heavy sense, right? Some foreboding on some level. You're not sure that this is something that's a, um, a foreshadowing a painful ending. You're not sure, but you've got some concerns, worries, fears, um, apprehensions. Let's see the nine of cups in the past. Three of pentacles, devil, the fool. Hmm. Well, this feels like things were kind of in an interesting state, like maybe complacency, but not really like we, Feeling, feeling good at that point. On the same page, things feeling good, some wish fulfillment, some emotional self-satisfaction, and yet some sense of the foreboding. So I'm not seeing the devil in this case as either of your energies, just something kind of hovering, right? Just like it looks in the actual graphic. Like it's just something hovering there and so underneath with the fool the fool um you know it's it's uh uranus the you know uh, the great awakener and it's very liberating and you know can be surprising and breakthroughs or breakdowns but it feels like with the fool sometimes we're taking a leap of faith and sometimes we're being cautioned to, to look before we leap so there's some built-in risk assessment when we're talking about the fool. And since it's from the bottom of the deck, I feel like I'm looking at the fool, looking up at the devil, like, yeah, I might need to double check that everything's okay in the neighborhood, right? Like it just feels like things were going okay, but there was some sort of overriding sense of foreboding. Like, I'm not sure it's all that happy here. Um, and so now that's in the past. So now these things are kind of rising to the surface and you're all about, we got to clear it up. We got to clear it up quick, fast and in a hurry. Like there's a need to know, right? Cause now you yeah, like, I'm sitting here going, yeah, woulda, coulda, shoulda, I should have, really done my due diligence because it's not feeling so good right now with this past life soulmate six of cups so there might be this moment where you're like something feels like it's slipping through my fingers um i don't and it's not that a terrible mistake was made it's just this energy of looking backwards that's a six of Cups is the past, it's what's behind. And we're looking at this nine of cups going, whoa, 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 whoa. 
I want to go back there. I want to revisit this now. Because we had this conversation and I wasn't really clear. I uh, trusted my intuition there, but maybe I missed a signal. And now it's just been weighing on me, weighing on me, weighing on me. And now I'm not really sure. And am I about to take 10, <laughs> 10 swords to the back from someone I really you know, believed I was meant to be with. So that's what I feel I'm looking at here, is there's nothing that I'm seeing at this point, though it is, you know, just one spread and I'm just coming in for the collective to snapshot in time. Um, I feel like it's a sense that you're, you're not in full suspicion, which is a very low vibration. Your intuition is starting to kind of waver. It's like, you know, you got a Richter scale going on. Um, that's why I'm so happy to see the Knight of Swords because that's you going, yeah, I want to cut through this. I want to get straight no chaser right to the heart of the matter here. Um, Knight of Swords moves fast. Uh, and let's see what the Four of Swords has in the near future. Like I said, I said what I said. We get to the end of the month and we have some healing here. Queen of Cups, you can open your heart. You can go, oh, all right. Well, I'm glad I asked and I'm glad I got that cleared up, dear King of Pentacles. And now we can go forward and, you know, feel some sense of emotional completion. It is not disaster. It's not hellfire and damnation here. We, you know, hit a little bump. Okay, little blip on a radar screen. But this is, this is, I am feeling like I'm talking to someone here, whether you're the Pisces or the cross watcher, talking to somebody who's in the process of really learning how to read their intuitive hits, how to work with their gifts. Um, and, you know, that is a process. I will be having a course available for that coming soon. I have some things I have to do for the channel first, guys. So please pay attention to that. You're going to see a video soon that's marked channel update. You're going to want to watch that because some stuff is going to have to change on this channel or the channel will go under. So please pay attention to that. That is coming up like in a couple of days. Um, I have a plan and we're going to test run it and you're all going to be my little guinea pigs and we're going to figure it out because things can't keep going the way they are. Um, all right, so this is what I've got. I wanna, I wanna see what happens with our King of Pentacles in the extended from their point of view, right? What's happening here from their point of view? And boy, if you are watching this going, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, so spot on, and I'm glad to see it'll all work out. Well, let's see what's going on with them from their side. Make your load a little easier. Okay, that's what I do in these extendeds from their point of view. How are they seeing this connection? How are they seeing you? Or thinking about you or feeling about you, depending on the cards that come out. And what are their intentions at this moment in time? So the links to that are below. Option one is a Pisces renewal. You get all the Pisces stuff that ever was, that is now, and that ever will be. It is a monthly renewal. Automatic. Option two is just this extended one and done. And option three is the all X's pass. So you get everything. All right. Just wanted to let you know before I do the astrology here that showed up in this reading. If you enjoyed this reading and you haven't yet done so, please subscribe below. The subscriptions, the views, the comments. That's what tells YouTube, oh, she's for real. She belongs here. Let's put her in front of some new people. That's the problem right now is the handful of you that show up all the time, I love you, mean it, to, to my core, are, are helpful. Please don't take this the wrong way. I'm not talking to you. You guys are fine. I'm talking to those of you who are like drive-bys that come in that watch, but don't really subscribe, or that come by and watch and say, nice, that was helpful, bye, but don't really engage. 
I need to get in front of new people to stay here and to grow the channel. And if I don't grow, then they're going to boot me off this platform. That's how it works because I'm not making them money. Got it? Okay. Help me help you. <laughs> That's what we're doing here. Okay. So love you, mean it. Here we go. King of Pentacles. Oof, comes out twice in this reading. That's Taurus. Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We've got the moon is um, Pisces. Yes, indeed. The devil is Capricorn. The fool, like I said, is the planet Uranus, which rules Aquarius. Knight of Swords is some Gemini energy for you. Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy. That's what I've got. You've got the star being healing codes for some important information that you're trying to get at. It is coming your way. Wounds are healed by the end of the month, in my opinion, and some recharging energy. That is your Four of Swords in a nutshell for both of those parts of your Oracle. And I'm headed to the extended. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.